CRISPR Cas9 technology can be used to treat HER2 positive breast cancer, which is categorized as over amplification of human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 gene. The HER2 protein is a receptor tyrosine kinase that forms a homodimer or heterodimer with member of epithelial growth factor receptor family. By serving as a co-receptor for many epithelial growth factor ligands, it initiates a network of signals that stimulate cell growth and proliferation. The overamplification of HER2 results in overexpression of epithelial growth receptors, activation of HER2 signaling pathway, and uncontrolled cell growth that result in cancer development. In a study by Bang and colleagues, uh, CRISPR-Cas9 genome therapy was employed to direct Cas9 to target exon 5, 10, and 12 of HER2 gene to inactivate all isoform of HER2 and inhibit cell growth in breast cancer cell lines. To test if CRISPR-Cas9 inhibited cell proliferation, three guide RNAs were added to both HER2 positive and negative breast cancer cell lines trough transient transfection to observe cell proliferation. Cas9 and 3 guide RNAs co-expression significantly reduce cell growth in HER2 positive cells similar to when treated with the drug Herceptin, which is used to treat HER2 positive breast cancer. Overexpression of Cas9 alone did not affect cell growth. This shows that guide RNAs are required for HER2 targeting. The same results were observed when the same guide RNA and Cas9 were transduced with retroviruses as well. The experiment was also performed in soft agar colony formation assay, which is used to identify tumorigenicity in vitro, and similar results were observed as shown in figure C and D. The cell proliferation and colony formation were significantly reduced in Cas9 plus 3 guide RNA colonies and Herceptin colonies compared to just Cas9 or control in HER2 positive cells. These results suggest that CRISPR-Cas9 mediated targeting suppressed cell growth and tumorigenicity in HER2 positive breast cancer cells, but not in HER2 negative cells. Non-homologous and joining DNA repair pathways were then targeted to study the effect of poly-ADP ribose polymerase 1 inhibitors. PARP is a family of proteins that are involved in the process of DNA repair, and PARP inhibition is a therapeutic strategy for cancer treatment. It was found that PARP inhibitors can enhance CRISPR-Cas9 mediated HER2 targeting and can cause greater level of cell inhibition. Protein kinase B and mitogen activated protein kinase are serine threonine kinase proteins involved in signal transduction pathway in several cellular processes. HER2, ERK1 and 2, and AKT protein are involved in HER2 signaling pathway. The phosphorylation of these proteins was analyzed by Western blotting using phosphor-specific antibodies. ERK down regulation was observed in the presence of Cas9 3 guide RNAs in HER2 positive cell lines. AKT was reduced in one HER2 positive cell line but not in the other cell line due to its low basal level. However, there was no change in HER2 protein level and phosphorylation at its two major autophosphorylation sites. But Herceptin treatment caused a marked reduction in total HER2 protein levels, as well as associated proteins in BT47 for HER2 positive cells. This shows that CRISPR-Cas9 inhibits the HER2 downstream signaling pathways from a different mechanism from that of Herceptin. To study the effect of HER2 mutants on cell proliferation, both HER2 wild type and mutants were transduced into HER2 positive and HER2 negative cells using retroviruses. The cell growth was significantly suppressed in the mutant but not in the wild type. Total HER2 protein levels and its phosphorylation at Y1248 remained unchanged. This shows that CRISPR targeting of exon 12 in HER2 positive cells produce a dominant negative mutant 
which inhibited cell proliferation and HER2 signaling. In conclusion, the CRISPR-Cas9 system targeting the HER2 gene in breast cancer cells did not suppress cell proliferation and tumorigenicity in HER2-positive cells, which was also shown to be enhanced by PARP inhibitors. This experiment confirmed the insertion of mutation by CRISPR-Cas9 in axon 12 of HER2 cells. CRISPR targeting of HER2 did not significantly reduce HER2 protein levels, but the downstream map ERK and PI3K AKT signaling cascades were inhibited. Therefore, it was concluded that CRISPR Cas9 did not downregulate cell proliferation by reducing HER2 levels, unlike Herceptin. It is plausible that HER2 mutant inhibits lichen dependent heterodimerization with HER2 receptors. Further studies are required to identify the exact mechanism.